All right, this is gonna be a really short video today, but I just wanted to talk about one thing that's always bothered me a little bit about Marvel Spider-Man. Now look, I love Insomniac Spider-Man games. I think that they did so many things right. And one of those things, honestly, is just the amount of density that they brought to the open world. The traversal, the side missions, the activities, the collectibles, it's all great. But there's just one thing that I feel is missing from all of it. And I think that the best word that I can use to describe that is interconnectivity. I wish that Marvel's Spider-Man had a little bit more connection between its various side missions. All of the side missions, all of the collectibles, all kind of feel like branches that hang off of the main story that don't really connect. They all feel like one-off things to go and do. And I wish that, again, there was more connection. So in terms of what you can do, again, there's many collectibles. There's things you can go do in Otto Octavius's lab as Peter Parker because you work there in the game. You can go perform experiments, which can give you upgrade points. And there are upgrade points that you can use to unlock new suits and gadgetry. There is also a scripted subplot that I'm going to use a little bit here from the main story, which is where Peter Parker loses his apartment. At the end of the game, he moves into a new apartment, but for a bit, you know, he doesn't really have a place to sleep, so he's kind of couch surfing. So getting into this, I'm going to propose that we take the research stations from Harry Osborn, and let's say that every time you complete one of those, you get some upgrade tokens. And what you have to do is you have to go to Otto Octavius's lab and use those upgrade tokens to complete experiments. And then what you can actually do is unlock gadgetry that way. So when you go and perform experiments at Otto's lab, you can actually be developing your gadgets. And what you could even do is potentially modify them. So for example, the electric web, you could modify the duration, you could modify the strength, you could even modify the color of it and give the player that level of customization. You could add upgrades to each suit to weaponize it further, give it more damage. You could up the defense, make it so that you can take more hits. You could up the stealth and you could modify the colors slightly on those as well. And again, I think that giving the player agency and customization would be a great way to really add to the fantasy of playing as Spider-Man. One thing that I think that Miles Morales did and improved upon, and I hope that they keep it in the sequel, was the Friendly Neighborhood app. As I felt that it gave there more of a reason for you to be going and finding pigeons for someone or going and doing some of these more mundane tasks, it made it feel like Spider-Man is a street level hero, or at least can be a street level hero, who will go and help out the common individual and i think that again you could add more to it like maybe peter gets to go and like use the friendly neighborhood app to like uber people around the city like people could send requests like hey i need to get to the upper east side could you get me there from harlem and spider-man could be like sure hop on and like carries them where they need to go I think that that would be really fun gameplay. It would add a lot of content that would be fairly easy to develop. And again, it would just make New York feel lived in. There's one mission in Miles Morales where someone literally just requests a photo. You like go and take a photo with them and then something blows up behind you. So it's like, oh, you just happen to be in the right place at the right time. And it was fun and it kept me on my toes and interested. And with Spider-Man 2018, a lot of the missions like, oh, this guy needs me to go find his pigeons that flew away like they just felt very random but in miles morales when they popped up in the friendly neighborhood app they felt like a part of the world and i felt like i was receiving those requests personally as spider-man when i was playing as miles it went from feeling fairly mundane and repetitive completing these collectible based side missions to me swinging around the city with all the exaggerated swagger of a radioactive spider infused teenager to go and finish all of these side missions and to make sure that all the people and citizens of Harlem and New York in general were happy with me and felt that I was a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Finally, as I mentioned with that subplot earlier, I think it could be really cool if they had a gameplay mechanic where you as Peter Parker need to earn money and you as the player actually get to choose your base of operations. You get to choose your apartment, you get to choose where it's located, and then you can go and perform like freelance content for the Daily Bugle, or you can go and deliver pizzas or something and earn money. And once you earn that money, you can invest it in upgrades for your apartment and make it nicer, you know, change the floors or add costumes or add wardrobe space or 
I don't know. I just think that now is the time to really start evolving superhero games in a direction where we really get to be our version of the character and get to do what we would do as Spider-Man and add to that fantasy of getting to play as these characters. But anyway, thanks you guys so much for watching. Sorry for the random one-off video. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys in the next one.